Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Uh, top of the morning. Did I say that already? Aloha, top of the morning. <laughs> Once a week, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut, I messed up a little bit. I, uh, what did I do? I, I, th I was a little bit off and uh, I may have messed you guys up is what may have happened a little bit. So if you watched last video, I had this NFS video, which I'm gonna do a little swoop and <laughs> I'm playing with my computer. I'll have it up on the screen here. And I, there were some things that I messed up or I got a little bit off and I wasn't 100% correct about how to do it the best way to make it easy for you. I didn't want you guys to be overwhelmed. If you completely don't understand what I'm talking about, well, first of all, I got some stuff too that I want to give to you guys. Um, and all I have to do is like hit me up about it. I'll, I'll show that stuff at the end of the video. But first, if you watched the last video we uploaded, the NFS video, and I went over all the different stuff with the Morph Market stuff, and how to like upload animals and stuff. There's a few things that John was like, okay, listen, dude, you're a dummy. You don't know what you're doing. No, that's not what he said. But he, but he gave me a few tips to add on to what it was that I could have done better in the video and show you guys. So I'm going to do that right now. I've got the screen pulled up here and we'll just let you look at that. And uh, so the first thing was that you don't have to, if you say you just have like one or two animals and you're not ready to upload like a whole list of animals, a real easy way to do that. I'm, I'm here on the animals page now for morph market if you went to animals you log into your account you click on animals right there and then simply click this add button right there and you can just type in whatever it is and they'll figure it out for you they've got their algorithm to figure out exactly what you type in and they give you an example right here you can type in that you know that's basically you type in something like that and you hit add and then they'll do the rest for you and depending on whatever category you're going into carpet pythons trailing probably diamond carpet pythons but all these different animals that you can type in and they'll have it wow they have so many that's this is cool wow it's such a huge site they're doing so many good things what i love about morph market is it's a lot of things like i love about freedom breeder they're always working to tweak things and make them just a little bit better like day by day so pretty cool pretty stoked uh so ball pythons here and if i type in say 20 20 oh there i've got one that's memorized from before so you just type in whatever hit add and boom it'll generate the thing see i already have uploaded that animal before so it's saying it's not unique that's fine um all ads need to have ids that are unique so then you just make sure your stuff's all good, add whatever you want to. Pretty soon you're gonna be to add the damn and sire of that, which I'm pretty excited about. This is gonna be a video coming forward where we talk about all that stuff and how cool that's gonna to be to implement. Uh, so, and then you just save and finish after you've changed all the things you wanna change or, or you know, I'm gonna cancel because I'm not creating this animal. Just, that was just an example. So that's the first thing. And then um, a couple other real quick, easy things. Once you have your animal inventory list here, you just click this top button over here. I, I know I was showing you guys, you can select everything. And I was just clicking there. I knew that you could do this, which is just click this top button right here. Boom. And it selects all the animals on this page. And you know, I've gotten more than this page, so you can scroll over to the next stuff, but all the animals on that page. And then you up here, you don't click directly here. Like here's just, just changes the status of an individual animal. So what you want to do when you have them selected is go over here to bulk actions. And in here, this will change everything that you have selected. You know, they do price by percentages, probably weight by percentages. And you just change all these different options for everything you've got selected. So it's the bulk actions over here, not over here where I clicked on the video. Okay, so there's that. And then there's also uh, the fact that you can have a uh, picture instead of clicking on the picture itself or clicking on where the picture is supposed to be. I had this all lined up and I messed it up on myself. Uncut video. Good job, Brian. Uh, so over here somewhere, there we go. Sugar right here. I don't have a picture for her yet. All You don't have to click on that and then look for the file. To make it easier for some people, it could be easier for you to just have your picture pulled up already there and you can just drag it over. And this is my picture of sugar right here. Beautiful, beautiful snake. And I can just take that picture, boom, drag it over and but up, but up, but up, drop it in there. I actually did do that in the last video, but for some reason it didn't make the edit. But there you go. And now she moves up to the, where'd she go? She's gone. She's around somewhere, I'm sure. She probably went to the back to the first page and she's the most recently edited one now. That'd be my guess. Yep, there she is. 
top of the first page since she was last edited. And you can change how you look at them with the, all these different things up here. You can sort it by birth, see the last updated is how it's sorted right now. You can do by title, all these different ways to organize what's at the top of the list for you to look at, price, all that, I'm sure. Um, so cool. There's that, and there's a couple other tips, and I'm going to get to them. I've got a little list here. Uh, the other tips will be when you're back in the uh, page like this that I showed in the last video. Again, if you haven't watched the last video, you should go watch it and check it out, and you'll know how to do all this stuff um, from that video. And then these are usually little added bonus tips. Cool, right? Yes, great. So... Other thing that I didn't mention is that you don't have to upload all of this different stuff that's in here. Ooh, and I will say this also, this thing I didn't realize, it says, is rep photo over here. I marked true because I thought that meant that it's true that it's a representative photo, but apparently representative photo means that it's uh, just a representative photo and not the actual animal. So for me, I would want to take all these and change them to false because they are all the actual animal in the picture. So that's just one thing I wanted to clarify. And then the other thing I want to clarify is that if you're uploading uh, just animals that you want to put up, you can put in the price thing. If you there was a price thing there that I had on the original, um, I, I altered this list, you know. But what you can do anyway, what I'm saying is that you only need to impu input uh, four different items here: just the category, the title, animal ID, and the maturity. All of the rest of this stuff. You can just take these columns and you can just go in here and select them all. Oops, sorry. If I mean, you don't have to delete them, but you could just take them and delete them. Um, I don't think I want to do that because then I, I want these columns to stay here for me. And I'm, I'm worried that if I do that, they won't come back. Even if I do an undo, maybe well, let's try it. Let's, let's see if you mess up. Boom, delete columns. They're gone. Oh no, I want them back. Um, Command Z for me, I'm guessing. I bet if you go edit, undo, that'll fix it right there. Good. So, but these are the only four things that you need to enter in to upload your animals to Morph Market. So you just, again, would click on category here, come down to the bottom of your information on the bottom right, select it all, copy it, paste it into the import page like we showed on the last video. Yeah, but for me, I want those things back. There we go. And uh, yeah, you just copy that and put it in here like we did in the last video again. And I think that was about it as far as the things that I kind of messed up up or didn't get exactly accurate as or make it as easy as you can yep that's that's all of it and that's basically everything all the little notes john had thank you john for clarifying there all that stuff and um oh there was one thing i'd like to bring up somebody had a question on the video that was a good question and i wanted to let you guys know uh john answered it and i'm guessing if she asked the question lots of people would want to know and i i wanted to know too it's a good question she's asking if you could um basically transfer the snake if you bought a snake from somebody, if you have your own Morph Market account, you can transfer that snake from their Morph Market account into your own Morph Market account with all the information, you know, the dam sire, and that's really going to help with tracking um, lineage and all that going forward. And he says, yes, that they are working on orders and payments through the site right now, um, and then they plan on adding animal transfer feature as well. Um, so when you buy an animal, you can import it. And John says, this is a great idea for animals bought before that feature outside an official official order have them added to list so yeah so he's they're going to be working on making that happen awesome you know that's what i love about company this is such a great company you give them a suggestion it's a good suggestion like all right we're going to do that yes great wonderful so that's it for that part of the video my, my little hiccups what i wanted to talk about and what i want to give to you guys was i've got this thing right here and I, there was a bunch of them on the table if for those of you guys that have been watching the channel for months now, you may remember when I went to Iowa and gave my testimony at um, Iron Ridge Church. They had a bunch of these things on the table and uh, at, at the little greeting booth. And I, I took a lot of them off the table because I was a little bit, uh, it was a little embarrassing, uh, but really cool. Like I, I'm honored. It's a perfect mixture of feeling honored and embarrassed to have my likeness on a magnet uh, with my face and all that. But um, because Marlon had asked me, the pastor at that church had asked me if I had a favorite verse. And, um, you know, we were sharing verses here almost every video for a bit. And we stopped a little bit. And then Noah was like, hey, I want to share one. So I'm, we're going to get back into it. And also God put on my heart yesterday. This verse, again, you know, I, I went to uh, the church up in Turlock for service the other day. And uh, they had a pretty cool service. And one of the big things I noticed is they had this verse up on the screen, huge. And I was like, whoa, whoa. 
I know that verse. It said 1 Timothy 4, 12, chapter 4, verse 12. And uh, the reason I was thinking about it, it just popped up there again. I went with, um, to Jesse's church up there in Turlock. I said that already. I'm going to slow down. Let me slow down a little bit. So I have these magnets with that message. And let me read it to you. It says, let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. And that was in a letter from Paul to Timothy, um, you know, back in the day when they were getting the church started. And the thing that stuck out to me in that was why it was my favorite verse at that time is like, I'm a fairly new believer. You know, it's been a little over a year now at that time. It was less than a year. And, uh, yeah, I just felt like, I don't know. Did I really have a place to speak or share? Cause I'm so new and very much in my youth, as far as being a believer and my, my status there, you know, being young. And so why would somebody listen to me when I'm sharing stuff about it? Even I don't really know what I'm talking about, which makes sense. Um, but just because the thing that I took from that is like, just cause I'm young in my spiritual journey doesn't mean that I can't set the believers in an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. The purity one, I don't know, honestly, I'm, that one's I got a lot of work there. But the rest of them, I think I've got pretty good, even though I'm just a young believer. And, you know, Paul wrote this to Timothy, and Timothy was, I think, about my age at that time. So they're talking about spiritual age, I'm thinking. If he was my age, I'm not a spring chicken any longer. So it's not like he was a young kid that he's, I think he was like, again, my age. The guy receiving the level, the letter for context, and then also it reminded me because I was I was I had something come back to me yesterday as well. And there was a moment I remember I was in I was incarcerated, um, and when I was in there, I was talking to this one guy. He was like, "You're in for how?" There's like a lifer I was talking to, and he was like basically like, you know, saying, "Oh, don't let me don't, don't let anybody hear like you talk complaining about how much time you got because he would he basically had been in for like you know decades, and I, I was going to have like a much shorter stint. And I think somebody else overheard that. Another guy was like, Hey man, you know, listen, it doesn't matter how much time you've got. Like, don't let anybody, don't let anybody play down your time. And he said, time is time. Whether you're doing four days, four years or 40 years or life, it, time is time. And that just applied as well here again. So just some stuff coming full circle. It's just stuff that like God imparts upon, you know, just all these different re revelations and thing that, that he allows to process through my brain, which I have much more trouble processing back out through my mouth, apparently. But anyway, I want to share that with you guys. And I wanted to offer, cause I, since I took a bunch of these things off the table, I did tell Marlon I would give them to people. And so I've got a whole stack of magnets. If you want to have that verse, if that verse speaks to you and you want to have it on your fridge, I will send this to you. And I'm going to regret this because I'm really bad about sending stuff. But I promise if you want this, the first people that reach out, um, and I won't be offended if you cut me out of it. Like if you just cut me out and just put the verse in there on your fridge, that's totally cool too. That, that wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't mind that at all. <laughs> in fact, uh, that's probably what I'll do when I put it on my fridge. Just cut me off of there so I don't have to look at myself all the time. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful in more ways than one. And you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. Aloha.